since CDP is designed to be used with Cisco products and nothing else, there's got to be an industry standard out there that can be used when we have equipment from multiple vendors. And there is. It's called LLDP, Link Layer Discovery Protocol. Again, it's a layer two protocol. So IP addressing doesn't matter. It's still going to work as long as we are up, up at layer one and layer two, just like CDP. However, it's not on by default on our Cisco devices. So if you want to use LLDP because you would prefer it over CDP or you would uh, or you have equipment from other vendors in your organization that supports LLDP and you want to be able to use the protocol between them, then you'll have to enable it on your Cisco devices. So it's supported only on physical interfaces. It's not supported on virtual interfaces. It can discover up to one device per port and it can even discover Linux servers because Linux servers have the ability to speak LLDP, which is very, very nice. How do you enable or disable it globally? LLDP run. How do you enable or disable it on an interface? Well, LLDP, it, it depends. Well, why is that? Because you can set up LLDP to just transmit or just receive or do both. So if you want to just transmit, LLDP transmit. If you want to trans, if you want to receive, LLDP receive. You want to shut them off, then you just add no in front of the command. So think about a Linux server as an example. If you had a Linux server set up, do you need it to receive LLDP messages from the switch? Not necessarily. If that's the case, then the server we'd set up just to transmit and our switch we'd set up to what? Receive, because we don't necessarily need to send to that Linux server. We just want to receive from that particular Linux server. So a lot more flexibility with LLDP. LLDP is a protocol that's used uh, more and more for evolving and uh, growing services and features in the real world. Why? Because it's based on type, length, value fields, and these fields can be modified. So if you are well aware of how to modify TLV values, then you can implement that into LLDP and then you could have uh, advanced services being shared or run by using the LLB, LLDP protocol between various devices. But that's an advanced discussion just to let you know that you know, CDP is really just simply meant for Cisco devices, while LLDP, industry standard, much more advanced, a lot more you can do with it, but at a basic level, you can use it just like CDP and discover neighbor devices.